Hey guys, I'm Evil Mastery, and I will be the tester for West Kai this season. So, you guys requested a full build test for Captain Ginyu. So, we got this Captain Ginyu with Key Plus One, Sirius, Combo Master, Power of Rage, and Key Control on Yajirobe AI. Versus this Captain Ginyu. With Key Plus One, Ignition, Fighting Spirit, Light Booty, Light Body, Master Blast. And Rush Blast 2 also on Yajiro BAI. So I see where you're coming from. Uh, I probably think that Captain Ginyu is more of a melee or a defense. Yeah, either a defense or a melee, you know, especially with his ultimate. I really don't see him as a B2, or I really don't think that his B2s are that great. But, uh, you know, Q plus 1 never hurt anybody. Uh, definitely seems like, oh, that, that charge rate, because Q plus 1 is really good. Definitely seems like Galactic Dynamite. Uh, seems like one build is uh, more of a um, kind of melee blaster. Maybe trying to get him to be more of a spammer, trying to make him kind of like a Majub. And then the other one's definitely a, a more of a Rush Blast B2 build. Not really sure of Master Blast and um, and Rush Blast stack, like Rush Blast 2. I know that Master Blast and Rush Blast 3 are pretty much the same thing, and I know they don't stack, so I'm not sure if 2 does. You know, if you want to request to test and, you know, if you want to see that, uh, you can go ahead. So, you know, despite, uh, I, I need to figure out a name. I'm call them Melee and B2. So, Melee is, uh, a little bit ahead, almost about a bar, so, uh, the B2-er, uh, has been doing a pretty impressive melee game. Oh, there goes that grab. <laughs> oh, max power. That fighting pose too strong. So, like I said, I'm Evil Mastery. Uh, some of you should know me, because I know the coach is actually a subscriber to my channel. He actually messaged me on the forum, so... Hi! <laughs> so now you can see my videos, and you can see uh, your tests here on my channel. So back at max power again. So, good, great melee game. Uh, like I said, the B2s for Captain Ginyu, in my opinion, aren't the greatest, so if he wants to keep on doing that, Galaxy. Self-harm. Body change. Ooh, did not see that coming. Well, uh, we clearly know who won this. <laughs> so, it would be funny to find out uh, who he switches with. You know, because it seems like it's kind of a waste for him to be a B2-er. Because now since he changed bodies, he changed bodies with Jace. That's funny. He doesn't have any B2s. He really, all he can really do is melee. So you might as well you know, take advantage of the full, uh, of him being a full melee or a defenser. You know, so he can last even longer. But it's clear to see that the winner in the fight between Captain Ginyu versus Captain Ginyu is Jace. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's go ahead and get another finding. So let's see if M Melee can uh, redeem himself. So, melee versus uh, B2 Rush Blast again. You know, there's nothing wrong with trying, trying new things. I mean, uh, like I said, if you want to make him more of a, a spammer, go ahead. Uh, the key control, personally, I don't really know how that really works. Seems kind of gimmicky in my opinion, but. Uh, I like more stable batars that are like guaranteed to work, you know, uh, if you want to make them more like uh, maybe combine them Maybe like make them more of a melee key. So maybe give them like key plus one Serious quick fast attack, you know, maybe some oh, maybe you know make them the eternal life person would be great Actually, you know what you know what I you know we may be in the same division, but I, I don't mind suggesting a build maybe maybe attack plus two defense minus one quick fast attack serious and eternal life on him if you haven't tried that already that seems like it'd be great you know being able to dish out great melee damage last on the field and if he transforms that's even bonus because you know those are just uh passive pataras that you don't have to worry about you know if he transforms can't throw out any b2s anyway bulking up the max power definitely seems like the b2 build is kicking more butt than the uh, than the melee build maybe maybe yajirobe is not the best uh, ai for this particular melee build i don't know if you need to test i'm your guy and he's about about a bar ahead. Oh, now now the now the melee build is uh, definitely pulling ahead now. A B2 build at max power. We got a clash. Melee build wins. Just gonna end it. Electric dynamite. Oh, dodged. 
And it's over. Melee build has pulled through. So we're going on to round three. <laughs> well, so if you haven't tried that build already, maybe you want to try that. Maybe if you can get Captain Ginyu to be maybe like a Nom or a, or a Fasha, a great melee or, you know, expect great things out of Team Ginyu next season. Lots of, lots of Rush Blasts. Which of course the the rush blast build is doing in really the rush blast build has light booty so you know the melee build you're doing the rush blast ain't doing much. Galactic Dynamite from the melee build connects for 5.5k points of damage. He's about a bar ahead now. Galactic Dynamite from the B2 build not much of a difference despite the indignation only like a 700 point difference so. Nope, does not get the fighting pose off. The B2 belt stops him just in time. He's charging up with that key plus one and that fighting spirit, but the melee build is showing that that melee damage, no matter you know what build you go to, the AI will always be doing that melee and uh, kind of feel that uh, that the the master blast is kind of not that good because you're minusing your melee damage, which of course the AI will always do. Black Big Dynamite to the back. It looks like melee wins. So, uh, hope that this test was helpful for you guys. You know, I hope that maybe uh, take some of my my considerations to heart or no, or don't. Or, but it, I am glad to be your tester for this season. If you have any more tests, be sure to uh, put them down, and I will try to get them up to you as quick as possible. So. Uh, thank you for supporting me as your West Kai tester, and thanks for watching. See you guys in the next test.